you were participating in the bylaws. So I am disappointed that the entire board has chosen to ignore the California Brown Act law in order to increase censorship on public comments, thus preventing the public from participating in board meetings and disallowing any public comments during discussions of agenda items. Section 54954.3 states every agenda for regular meetings shall provide an opportunity for members of the public to directly address the legislative body on any item of interest to the public before or during the legislative body consideration of the item that is within the subject matter jurisdiction of the body. It doesn't say only before, and it doesn't say only during. It says before or during. The key word Section 54954.2 states, the legislator, legislature hereby finds and declares that complete, faithful, and uninterrupted compliance with the Ralph Brown Act Chapter 9, commencing with Section 54950 of Part 1, Division 2 of Title 5, is a matter of overriding public importance. Now, your own bylaws contain two references for the board to follow, um, to follow the Brown Act. Your bylaw, Article 2, states the board of directors conducts regularly scheduled public meetings in accordance with the Ralph and Brown Act, California Government Code 954950 is that. And your second bylaw, Article 14B, Government Code 54950, Ralph Brown Act states, the MCSD Board of Directors are obligated to comply with the Brown Act, which guarantees the public's right to attend and participate in meetings of local legislative bodies. This board has now created their own bylaws, which are always superseded by the Brown Act laws. Now the board only wants comments without allowing the public to participate in discussions, debate, or Q&A with the directors or staff. Ms. The Barnell, board debates three and- minutes are up. Excuse me? Your, your three minutes are up. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone on district board or staff who would care to address that? I will say something. <clears throat> this also is from the Brown Act. The act specifically authorizes the legislative body to adopt regulations to assist in processing comments from the public. The body may establish general procedures for public comment as well as specifying reasonable time limitations on particular topics or individual speakers. So long as the body acts fairly with respect to the interest of the public and competing factions, it has great discretion in regulating the time and manner as it dis distinguished from the content of the testimony by interested members of the public. Thank you, Director Naylor. I will add to that that every agenda item that we have corresponds to Rosenberg's Rules of Order, which allows for the items to be introduced by district order staff. <coughs> Clarifying questions from the board, public comment, board deliberation, and or discussion and or vote. So that's a consistent manner in which we address agenda items to ensure that the public does have a right and an opportunity to comment on any item on our agenda. <laughs> So unless there is anything further on public comment, we'll move on to item G, personnel matters. <clears throat>